your top dog goulash today i'm gonna go over the fucking best settings in crunker you're gonna love it all right so obviously for your localization you're gonna want to have your region depending on where you live i live in new york so i have mine in new york because i have you know amazing ping on my servers it's pog you don't have to worry about any of these ones pro and per pro sucks performance is okay if you have a lower end pc this guide is for people who have a either mid-end PCs and want to get uh, higher frames or people who have low-end PCs and also want to get higher frames if you have a monster PC like Frosty Dog click off because this video is not for you okay this network lag compensation I have this to one um, I know this affects your ping uh, it, I'm pretty sure it makes your ping a lot lower if you put it up so it's, it's, it's better if you have high ping if you get like 40 average ping turn that shit up to one uh, it'll be pog auto routing um, this, I'm pretty sure, makes it so that it gives you less ping because it routes your uh, connection in a different path. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that unless you have like 120 ping on your default server, then maybe you turn that on. But if you get like 20, then don't do that. Um, resolution is up to you. One is your default resolution, two does fucking nothing. Uh, if you turn it down, it scales down and makes your game look like trash, as you can see. As compared to this, and even this. Look, it doesn't change when you go from 1 to 2 because there's no difference. Yeah, look at that. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I got kicked for an activity, poggers. Let me actually host my own game so I don't get fucking kicked for an activity. Poggers, okay. So, like I was saying, uh, this. Nothing. Nothing. If you this will give you your regular FPS, lowering it down will give you better uh, FPS at a cost of how your game looks. Like this looks horrible. This looks so bad. Like you can play on this. It is completely possible. Like I've seen people do it before, but this looks horrible. But as you can see, my frames are up to 800. Not there. In game, they're up to 800. You can see on the top left there, 800, 700, because the game doesn't look as well, so it doesn't go as hard on my PC. Now. <clears throat> to get frame cap the reason i have this is zero is because this is how you get unlimited fps you turn it instead of you see i have like 800 fps like that's not possible on a 144 hertz monitor you're kidding me but in crunker it is because the game makes sense so you turn that shit to zero instead of being you can have it if you have a low end pc you can turn it up to whatever but i still recommend putting it on unlimited frames because it is better okay your aspect ratio this is your regular resolution so by default, you probably have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, which is like, you know, a regular ass one. But if you lower it down, it'll be like, you can have it stretched. So if you have like, you can type in your own custom one and have it stretched, which I don't really like. I think this is, this is a bit stretched. This is like more stretched than my resolution normally is. It looks really gross. I don't like it. But uh, a lot of people swear by stretched because it makes uh, targets easier to hit or something because they have a wider hitbox or some garbage. It doesn't really make sense to me. I don't like it because it makes my game look real chunky and I look like a fat cunt and I don't like that. So uh, I keep that shit at default. There we go. Low spec, uh, you can turn this on or off. Uh, if you have a really, really low end PC, like you get like 40 FPS to 60, like 60 or 70 and below, then you should probably turn this on. Um, another reason to have this on is because it gets rid of the legs, so it'll give you a uh, like a more of an incentive to aim up higher on the body, which kind of trains headshots. Uh, it doesn't really work for everyone, but it really does uh, take away lag. The only reason I have it on is because it doesn't really affect my FPS that much, and uh, I don't like seeing people just float around. It makes me uh, kind of arced out. Okay. Uh, particles, you can have this on or off. This is more of uh, like rockets. If you use a rocket launcher and you shoot a rocket, it'll have a particle fucking fly off of the explosion. It doesn't really matter that much. On or off, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. If you have a really low end PC, turn it off. It'll give you extra frames. If you have a regular mid PC, it doesn't really matter. Particle distance, this doesn't really matter. You can turn this to zero. I have mine at 160 just because uh, I don't want to see too many particles from like all the way across the map, but like if it's right up against me, I'd like to see kind of random distance 100 is the whole map and you can lower it down from here if you lower it down um you'll see less i think you won't see people like you won't like if there's someone standing there and i have 100 i'll be able to see him but if i lower it down i might not be able to see the person that's standing there 
um, it doesn't really cost too much FPS. You should definitely keep it above 80 uh, if you're going to lower it down. 80 would be the lowest I'd go because it'll give you a major disadvantage, especially if you're peeking somewhere like here. You won't be able to see anyone through the doorway there if you have that lower uh, render distance. Shadows I have off because I don't really need shadows. It's crunker. I mean, it's not really that good of a game. It's not that good looking, I should say, anyways. So you don't really need shadows. It lowers or it boosts your FPS if you turn it off, and it lowers them if it's on. So low end PC, turn it off. Uh, higher end PCs is kind of more of a preference thing. You can have them all or off. As you can see, if I turn them on, you'll see that all this is covered in black because of the shadows. It doesn't really do much for anyone. It just makes it look kind of cool, I guess. It makes it look better. I don't know. I don't really like the way that looks too much. Dynamic shadows are the same thing as like regular shadows, but they're just more uh, hugged up to the wall, so they'll give it more like in-depth looking, kind of. I don't have these on either because they look stupid. They're all just blocky, and I don't like blocky shadows. I mean, everything, even though everything else in here is blocky, I uh, I don't know. Blocky shadows just ain't for me, man. Okay, dynamic shadows off. Ambient shading, it just gives the map more color. So this is what it's on. You see, everything looks a lot more darker and a lot more like colorful, almost like a darker, like shaded in kind of thing. Like you can see, it's a lot more darker towards the bottom than up on the top. This will lower FPS if you have it on. If you turn it off, it'll make everything look more, more plain, more, of, more of the same color, and it'll also uh, increase FPS if you have it off. So yeah, turn that off if you have a low NPC, high NPC option. Muzzle flash, muzzle flash is good. Muzzle flash is. Basically, when I shoot with my AK, you can see the the front of it is kind of sh blowing up a little bit. You can see that the bullet coming out of the front of it. That's what that is. So if you turn that off, you won't have that blinding light from your fucking AK anymore. Amazing. Now, uh, bullet trails are always nice to have on. You get to see your bullets. Even with bullet trails off, which I do have them off, uh, bullet trails are important mostly for sniper but you can usually you can see the sniper bullet you just won't see like the bullet trail is like the little line that the bullet leaves behind it's not really that noticeable but it will uh decrease your fps if you're on a lower end pc you have it on so turn that off it doesn't really make that much of a difference but it will increase your fps by just a little bit um sniper flap is a preference thing it's basically let me get on sniper real quick it's basically this little uh little flap on the sniper on the side of it. I can't really show you because I can't fucking get die. However, if I turn it on, you might be able to see it. I lied. You won't be able to see it. It's basically this little flap on the side of the sniper. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't affect your FPS. It makes the sniper look different. Uh, it's more of just a, a cosmetic thing. So if you like that, you keep that on. That's all on you. If you don't like it, turn that off. Also on you. That one doesn't really matter at all. Texture animations. Um, this is more for when you're looking around and you see like top of things like the clouds moving or if you're on a map in a custom game and some of the textures are like animated a little bit like this like this spray it'll be like that kind of texture I'm pretty sure if I turn this off it'll stop yeah there you go so I like to have it on obviously but if you have a lower end PC you definitely want to turn that off because that will lag your game out like hell especially if you're on a custom map and the custom map has funny, uh, funny textures. It'll lag your game really badly, and you'll get super low FPS, and it'll be hell. Screen shake. Screen shake is for mainly for rockets. If the, I don't have a rocket on me, but if you shoot the floor with a rocket, it'll shake your screen a bunch. Uh, I keep it on just because I like the way it looks, but a lot of people will turn it off because it doesn't really look too well. Um, for them, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect your FPS too much because it just makes your screen wobble around. Uh, this is more of a preference type of thing where if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So that's your choice. You turn that on if you want. You turn that off if you want. Now, weapon shine. Uh, I'm not really too sure what this does. I think that. Oh, here you go. You can see the uh, the lighting on the top of the pistol here. You see it's best here. It'll change as I look around. You see now it's brighter. Now it's darker. Brighter, darker, brighter, darker. And then when I turn this off, it won't even, it won't change that much at all. You see, it won't have that much of a reflection. It'll have, it'll still have one, like a little bit. Like you saw it there, like it's, it's changing a bit just because there's shadows, but uh, it won't change as dramatically as it did before. 
lighting, so you can have it low, and it'll not really affect you too much because Berg fucking sucks. Uh, this you have to restart your game for this one, but lighting doesn't affect your FPS at all. It just makes your game look brighter or darker. Uh, I like to keep it medium because low is a little dark and high is a little too bright for my uh, little boy eyes. So you know that's kind of a kind of sus, man. I don't like to get my shit blinded. Oh yeah. Also, uh, since we're sitting here on the match screen, this is a great time to say subscribe to my channel and like the video, please. Because I only have like five subscribers. Give me more. Yes. Yes. Okay. Back to this. Now, this is about your interface. So your this is about your chat. This is about your your um, fuck your UI, your weapons thing on the bottom right, your uh, leaderboard on top right, and your timer. If you lower the UI scale, it'll small. It'll make everything super tiny. Uh, a lot of people like to have it like this. I don't know why. For some reason, it makes my crosshair look really dumb and tiny. I don't like that. So I keep mine at default, just because it makes it look regular. For me, at least. The show UI is to show your chat, basically. So if you turn that off, you won't be able to see anything. You won't be able to see your leaderboard, your uh, your weapons, anything. You turn that off. It's basically just a blank screen. I like to have it on. Use old scoreboard is what I have on. I prefer that so much. If you turn that off, you can't see the scoreboard. You have to press tab. This is the default. So you press tab and you see, oh, look, I'm in first place. Wow. Or, oh, I'm bottom frag and whatever. Instead, you can have it on. That's a preference thing. Doesn't affect your FPS at all. It is uh, kind of gets there. I like this one better because I play. I started off with this kind of a leaderboard, and that's how I like to keep it. Okay. Uh, rarity animations. Now this is for the uh, contraband skins. If you have a, a contraband skin or an animated skin, I should say, where the texture on the skin is moving, this will be for. This will be for your uh, your skin, basically. So I don't have a moving skin on this, but if it, if it was moving, like if it was a baller skin, you wouldn't see the uh, the skin moving around. It would just be sort of static, like what this. Like, same thing with the sprays. When I turn off this texture, just one image, it, it'll be just like that. It'll affect your FPS a bit if you're on a lower end one. It doesn't really matter too much. I keep it off just because it's my preference. But for other people, you will have maybe turn it off. It'll affect your FPS. It'll make it better if you turn it off. So. It's good for you. Uh, dynamic HP bars sort of just shows the amount of health they have. Uh, I don't really like it on because I can sort of judge how much HP they have based on their bar. But all it does is instead of your regular red HP bar, it'll show uh, a number and the red. So it'll just kind of be. Uh, it's it's good if you like to see the uh, specific HP that they're on. But uh, I keep that off because I don't really need that. Uh, hit indicators is when you hit someone like you get a hit marker I shot someone oh that turret they got a hit marker turn that on or off doesn't really affect your fps at all a card just makes a noise and it'll let you know if you hit someone or not uh hit indicator color is preference you can change this to whatever color you want on the rgb structure cool show damage this i like to have on some people don't like to have it on but i like to see how much damage i do to someone so if i hit someone in the head with the sniper they get clapped 110 damage or whatever and if it's an LMG, they'll be like, oh, I still have HP, so they won't die. That's that. You'll see your little numbers, your damage numbers. A headshot will be uh, yellow numbers. Regular body shot will be white numbers. Um, damage color is up to preference. I like to keep mine red. Just because, you know, red means it hurts. And crit is the headshot. So it'll be like, ow, it hurt it. You can change this to whatever color. This is a headshot. This is a body shot. Damage scale. This is for custom games, right? Or this is for uh, like how big the number is. So I keep mine at default because I don't want it to be like super in my face. If they turn it up to two, I think is the max. Let's see. Yeah, two is makes it two times as big as one. If you turn it down to point one, it makes it smaller. Kill feed is in the chat. So if I ever turn this off, it won't show if I killed someone or someone killed me. It won't show that in chat. The kill counter is in the top left. You can see, oh, or not, or not, in the top right of my screen, up where my cursor is, if you can see in this sort of area, it'll show the amount of kills that I have uh, in-game without having to look at my scoreboard or without having to press tab if you have that option on. You'll be able to see how many kills you have, and um, yeah, I mean, everyone has it on because they like to see how much kills they have, they like to see their KD, 
they like to see their, their juicy kills, you know? It's really nice to see that that little skull, the regular old skull by itself, that's the regular default kill counter. And so you can have that on and off, it doesn't affect your FPS, that's a, that's a preference thing. Death counter is right next to the kill counter. It is the skull with the, with the cross behind it. it. Shows how many times you died. I personally like to have it on, just so I know my KD for the match. So I'm try hard like that. Don't call me that. Not this game's a cry. Uh, that's also a preference thing. Uh, score counter. Uh, I don't like to have that on because I see my score on the leaderboard. But if you turn that on, you'll see that it'll show a little star, and that little star is your score. Uh, you can also see that on the leaderboard instead, which is why I have my leaderboard on. But you can have that off as well. And then go away. The street counter. The next option is street counter. There you go. I have it on. Again, another preference thing. You see it on the top right there. It'll show the three skulls as a default. And you can turn it on or off. And it'll show how much of a kill streak you're on. So if you kill two people and don't die, it'll have a number two. If you kill 25 people and don't die, it'll show 25. Uh, yeah. Show spectator counter. This will show up if someone is spectating your game or a bunch of people are spectating. If it's one spectator, it'll show like a little eyeball next to your kill and death counter. And it'll basically show the number of spectators. So it'll be one if it's an eyeball with the number one, it's one. An eyeball with the number two, it's two. An eyeball with the number 400, it's 400. Easy stuff. That is a preference thing. You can turn it on or off. It does not matter. Ping and FPS I like to have on so I know uh, if I'm doing bad to take a break because my Wi Fi is doing garbage. Or FPS just to show my FPS. I like to see how much I get on average. Um, you can see on the top left next to my timer, the ping is the bottom with the three bars. That is my ping. Lower ping is better, obviously. Higher ping is garbage. And above that is my FPS counter. How many frames I'm getting. And yeah, that's preference. You don't have to have that on or off. Uh, show movement speed is the preference, but I don't like that at all. It'll show it right above or below your crosshair. It'll basically show you how fast you're going when you b-hop or when you walk around or when you do whatever you do in Croker. It'll show you how fast you're going when you uh, walk around and move around. It's not super accurate. It says I'm going 12, but I'm going above 12. Um, it's more accurate for when you're walking. Um, it's still kind of finicky even then, but there you go. Oh, shit. So I like to have that off because I just don't like the way that looks on my screen. Speed X offset and speed Y offset. Honestly, not too sure what these do. I'm gonna keep it at default because I don't know what it does. Um, I think it's meant for. Oh, ah, yes, I know what it does. I lied. This will just move it around. So if I turn this to like this and this, the speed counter will be somewhere crazy. I don't even know where it is right now. It's gone. It's gone. I'll turn it down low. I'll lower it down to like this. And then there it is. It's in a different spot. If I change the Y, it'll move to the side a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe a little bit too much. There it is. There she goes. Down there now. Don't like that on though. Preference. Show medals. Um, not really too sure what this does. I don't really think it matters at all. Name tag display is very useful. It'll show uh, who's on your team, who's on the enemy team. Share their name, show their health underneath it. That is a must to keep on. You should have this on. If you don't have this on, turn it on. You're wrong if you don't have it on. Opacity is up to you. This will make it more dim so you can see through it. This will make it uh, very vibrant so you'll be able to see it like a brighter day. You won't be able to see through it at all. Uh, name tag style everything. It'll show what you, this is more of a preference thing. It'll be either just the person's name, their name and their level, or only their health. Uh, if you don't want to know their name, if they have like, if you're a streamer or a YouTuber and you have a kind of slanderous name, you know, like they got some, some bad things, the TOS things in their name, you can always turn it on to just uh, HP so that you don't have to worry about their bad names getting in your brains. That rhymed. Not very good though. I'm really questioning myself making this video, but <sighs> that is besides the point. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next setting, which would be name tag health number. This is like the dynamic health bar. Not really that good. Uh, you can keep it on if you want. It'll just show the amount of health they have next to their bar. Show chat box. This is also helpful if you're streaming. You can turn this off and it won't show it. Focused is, I think, when you're. Honestly, I don't even know what focused means. Oh, focused is if you're typing in it. So if you're typing in a chat box, then it'll show it. That's actually pretty useful. 
Uh, off is off. Always is what I have it on default. So you can always see the chat. Profanity filter is for is really helpful for streamers and I guess kids who don't want to see their mom or don't want to have their mom see kids cursing on game. Turn it on or off. If I turn it on and I say fuck, it'll blur it. If I turn it off and I say fuck again, it'll be uh, not stars. Uh, shell player messages is is if I have other people in the lobby and they type. Even now I'm typing and you can't see what I'm saying because I have the messages turned off. But when I have it on, you'll see. Oh, fuck, I'm muted. But you can see that I have player messages off, so you can't see what I can't see what I'm saying. If I had it on, which I do, you'll be able to see what I'm saying. So unboxings is uh, another thing in chat. You'll see this guy Crunky Fish. Shout out to my man Crunky Fish. He unboxed 50 kr. You, you can turn this off and not get those anymore. Uh, it doesn't really bother me at all. Keep it on. The chat opacity will basically make it so that you can see it. If you turn it down, it goes like invisible. Turn it up. Default. I don't know. I like it the way it is. Chat BG. This is the background. You can turn that off. It makes it look kind of modern. Turn it up a little bit, and it looks and it looks just alright. Turn it up all the way. It's black, and it's like black boxes. I don't like that at all. Text outline. Turn that on. It makes it more uh, defined looking. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. You can kind of see it. I uh, I like it better off, honestly. You can have it on if you have trouble seeing the text. I guess it makes it easier. Chat height. It'll show you how big you can make the chat, how small you can make the chat. Kind of took my uh, my pee pee, but you know, whatever. Leave that the way it is at two. Chat timer. Um, positive. Okay. The lower you have it, the shorter the amount of time it'll take for something to pop up. The higher I have it, it'll show. Like it'll see how long it will go away when I type. So if I type L, it'll go away really quickly with the. Okay, Crunker. Okay, Crunker. Doesn't really do anything. This, super important. Your crosshair is your most important thing, arguably. This right here, my crosshair, the green cross. A lot of people don't like it because it doesn't have an opening in the middle. I originally didn't like it because originally when I made this crosshair, I forgot how to make the cross in the middle. So I just left it and uh, yeah, now I'm rolling with it. I like it now. It works for me, but just fine. Get my crazy shots. I 360 no scope, some good. YY 360 off the ladder shot, easy. That you can change to whatever you want. I have mine on a custom on a cross. You can change to whatever you want. This will affect the color and this will affect the outline. This will affect how thick everything is. You can play around with this and you'll get whatever cross. I just don't want to fuck with mine. And I'm not gonna remember. This is so important. I cannot stress you enough. This is your sensitivity. Obviously, the higher you turn up your sense, the faster you turn your mouse around. Oof, that is gross. And lower that back down. Now, don't try and copy my sensitivity if you're not used to lower ones. Mine is super low. Um, this also has to do with your DPI, your mouse. You might not be able to change the DPI of your mouse if you're playing on a, a low end PC. You might not be able to, you definitely won't be able to, I should say. Or maybe you will be, don't know. You have to check up on Google on how to do that. For me, I have a software for my mouse that I just go into and it'll change it and I can change it however I want to. Or I can just press the button on it and it changes it, which is good. Um, if you're having trouble uh, finding your sense or your crosshair, I'll be making a video very soon on how to do that, how to be a Crunker Pro. So we'll look out for that in the future. Um, all right, next setting. Slide control. Slide control is so, so good. It is so good for anyone. Even me. I have it up to six. I'm a new bro. I have it up to six and I be hop like a pro. Okay? It's the best fucking thing in the planet. It's so good. And if you have low FPS, it'll make you crazy. The way it works, basically, is it'll take your FPS and it'll basically make it feel like you're be hopping on multiplied by how many numbers. So if you're playing on, let's say you're playing on 20 FPS and you put it to 1, you'll be playing on 20 FPS. If you put it on 1.2 or 2, it'll be like you're playing on 40. Turn it up to 6, it'll be like you're playing on a 24, 60, 80. It'll be like you're playing on like 100 or something. I don't know. I don't know math. You can't do that shit. It'll be, it'll, it's good. It times your FPS by how much. Everybody in the world, almost if you're getting like 1,200 FPS every game, you should have that shit up to 6 all day. 
scroll direction does not matter streamer mode is good because it fucking reverses the chat kind of like it'll make my name all screwed up and it'll make my messages like kind of stupid like my name is different so if it's a bad name kind of makes it eh. challenge mode definitely not worth it um it'll lower your health to half hp you get no regen but you get 45 you can earn a max of 45 kr per game definitely not worth it uh definitely not worth it at all because uh, most of the time people don't even hit that kind of score in a game and it'll also just lower your kd a lot make it not fun odds are you also forget to turn it off invert y-axis basically i look up and it goes down i look down and it looks up and i turn that back off look down i look down I look up i look up it's a preference thing it does not change your fps this is for a controller if you have a controller you can do this don't play comfortable with the controller not good this is your volume uh i like to keep all my different things on i like to keep my stuff differently with my voice being the max and master volume kind of being in the middle this is a preference you can play around with this view model this is very important as well this is what makes my my game look look very nice i'm actually gonna take a picture of this before i fuck around with it to show you so i can <coughs> not screw up my thing you should definitely always have your field of view above a 90 if it's below a 90 your game will look super zoomed in and gross like this and uh it'll be kind of kind of hard to uh to see people what field of view does is it makes it easier for you to to look around corners and shit and peek because it gives you like a wider area to see so as you can see i'm looking at this and i'll start my wall there you can barely see it when i turn it up to what i had it as is 100 you're able to see that and even more so this will affect your FPS. If you're on a lower end PC, definitely put your um, put your uh, FOV lower because it'll make your FPS go higher. But if you put your FOV higher, it'll make your FPS go lower. On a higher end PC or medium PC, won't really change it that much. It does not really make a difference. Um, weapon FOV is based on your arms. So as you can see, mine's at 100. You can see my weapons. If I turn this up to 120 you'll see my arms moved a little bit they're a little bit further up in the front now it's kind of a little weird actually i don't like that and if i turn it lower oh what in the world no way okay and if i turn it lower lower then it'll be all the way back there and you kind of be able to see just pick the tip of your weapon just the top of it there's that keep mine at 100 this is preference you can do this whatever it doesn't affect your fps at all it just is a kind of a what you like to see, what you like to do. Weapon bobbing is how much your weapon wiggles around. So if I turn, <sighs> really, you know, I should really just make a different lobby and put the timer to zero, so I don't have to worry about this. But you know, what? I'm not gonna do that. You know, what? I'm not. I feel like I feel like this is enough. This is more than enough time for uh, patience for anyone to. Uh... You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this lobby. This lobby is garbage and Berg sucks. Sucks. Okay. Spawning in. Nice. Now then. Weapon bobbing is how much your weapon wiggles. So you can see it's moving around a lot. It's like a wave. See it moving around. Turn it back down to what I think I had it as like 0.4. It kind of moves. Not too much. You can see when I walk around it moves a little bit. When I jump it moves a little bit. When I slide it moves a little bit. When I turn it up to 3. You see it. And you jump it. And it goes all over the place. It looks really dumb. To me at least. You can change this around however you like it. I really don't like this at all. It looks really stupid. Too. Like it looks like you're in the hood and you're aiming your pistol to the side. Like that looks really dumb. Like, what's up, cracker? Oh, and uh, I don't like that. So I'll lower that down. This is more of my thing. Like that, brother. Okay. Weapon leaning. Uh, this is. I'm positive. This is how much your weapon will lean when you crouch. No. Weapon leaning. Fuck. Honestly, I'm not too sure what it does. That. Okay, found it. Whenever you turn, you can see I have it up all the way and it turns my weapon. Like, it'll basically trace the tip of the weapon to wherever you're pointing it at. So, as you can see, the sniper, it'll go to whichever direction I'm looking. And when I turn it lower, it'll just kind of be less. X and Y offset of the weapons is where it is. So, X will move my weapon. You can see it moving. Moving around, move more to the right, move more to the middle, 
this looks like <laughs> Doom. <laughs> what the hell? That, that it actually looks like Doom. That's actually crazy. I might, I might leave my X like this. No, I didn't. But turn that up to what it was. I don't know. I think it was probably like here. Definitely wasn't, but you know, whatever. But then why is how high up or how low it is? This is zero. <laughs> this looks really dumb. So if you want to keep your weapon like that, that's okay. <laughs> looks really stupid. I guess if you like to look at your skin, lower that down. You do this, you get block here, line of sight. That looks amazing. Uh huh, uh huh. That's great. This lowers it down all the way, you can see it. Very low. Bring that back up. Weapon Z is how much it is out. So, this is what a lot of people play on. And then they have their sensitivity, or they have their FLB all the way up. You can see their shoulders. They get really long arms. I don't really like this too much. Some people do. It's, this is a preference thing. So all these options I'm going over is your preference thing. They don't really do too much. They're just kind of there. I don't like it at all like that. It looks very stupid to me. Lower that back down. I don't even know what I had that. I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'll change it later. Uh, aim animation is when I aim in. Like there's no... My arms don't move or anything. It just sort of does it. When I turn this back on. You see my arms move a little bit, you see my pistol going in. That's what I like. That doesn't change your FPS too much at all. It's just a little animation. Uh, hide weapon on ADS is what I have on, so I have that on. So when I scope in, you don't see anything. Uh, default is off, so you'll be able to see your pistol. You see it when you're aimed in sights. You'll be able to see your uh, your iron sights. With sniper, you still don't see it. This is the scope, but for any other gun that doesn't have a scope, you'll be able to see it like this. I don't really like that. Turn that on. Uh, show hands will be my arm. So now you don't see my arms at all. I just sort of have floating weapons. I have telekinesis. So yeah, that's cool. That's a more of a preference thing as well. Show primary, secondary, and melee will basically just turn off all your weapons. So now you don't know what you have on. So now I have my secondary out. I have my sniper out. Some people like this. Some people don't. I personally don't. I like to see my weapons. Turn this back on really quickly. Now I have it on. You can see that I have my, uh, my pistol out. And the fucking match ends it again. This is great. This definitely isn't making the video longer. This kind of sucks a little bit. Having to wait 10 seconds is really awkward. We've done this like 7 times. This fucking sucks. <laughs> sucks really bad. I really should make another lobby, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna wing it. Okay. Editing. This is for your, um, your HUD. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. You can play around with this. This is all different colors and stuff. Okay, this is about your mods. The scope board, you definitely want to have this off. If I have this on, you see there's like this weird black box around my scope. If I turn this off, it makes it a lot easier to see around what you're doing. You can see, oh look, I can see everything when I'm scoped. And this is how you B hop around with your scope. So that you're not, uh, so yeah, you can actually see what you're doing while you're B hopping. It's not like just a black, uh, tube. So that's definitely, that's definitely must have off. Scope image is what I have on my scope. That's how my scope is uh, this cool ass like flaming gif. That's cool. Uh, whoops. Did not need to do that. If I take this off, it'll just be the default scope with the black border around it, which looks garbage. Put that back there. Hit marker is the same thing as the scope one. You put an image in there, and every time you get a hit marker, it will show up that image. Uh, reticle is the same thing. So if I had an AK, you'll be able to see the. Uh, the, the dot in the AK will be that image instead of the dot. So whatever you put your dot as, it'll be. This is just to customize the size of the image. This is how people type GG at the end of the match. So if I put GG in there, every time the match ends, it'll automatically type GG for me in the chat box. Uh, sometimes I have it on, sometimes I don't. Profile image URL is for your little character on the bottom left. You see it, my little sniper guy down there. It'll change that to whatever image you put in there. Uh, this, this, these are all just like the same thing. You change, you can customize your shit as much as possible. Use damage overlay, it doesn't really matter. Damage overlay is uh, when you get hit with a bullet and your screen gets that tint of red, like your blood. That's what that is. It makes it a little bit more realistic. It shows you when you're hurt. I usually put this on because it's cool. You can put whatever image you want up there or a GIF if you want. It'll sort of fade in, fade out. Performance, this is also how you get unlimited FPS. When you have your FPS thing down to zero and you turn it up, you have your FPS uh, limit to zero. You turn this on and restart your client. 
Are you trying to summon restart your client? And then boom, bada bam, that's it. Uh, Windows capture is for me when I stream. I can capture the window. So if you stream or you record, this is a must have. And this is good RPC. Don't know what that does at all. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all the settings. I, I did it. I made a video. Uh, yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, also subscribe and like and leave a comment. Maybe say, wow, your video is garbage. I just go on to some other guy. I'll fucking watch uh, I'll watch Storable. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. Yeah. Uh, stretching the video to as long as possible. Woo! Alright, peace.